Hello, it's me again. I'm Navid Salama. In this short video, we will talk about the REST API as a concept um, that is supported on Aruba Central. We'll show you a couple of examples how to create, um, how to see a list of APs, um, how to see information about the user or users, as well as we're going to create um, labels basically. And this is just a basic understanding of REST API. So we have three access points. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, generating the token first, and then we will issue a few commands. So here we're trying to generate a token. We go to platform integration. If there's an old one, we don't have to worry much about it. REST API. And then we go tokens, add application and tokens, simply just generate the token. So that's the one, the new one. And we'll download this token. Obviously, um, you're going to see that that's a token value. You can save it, obviously. But that's a token value. I'm going to copy this one and use it. We need to copy the whole lot. And then what we're going to do, we'll go to the API documentation link. Let's do a bunch of things. So we're going to first of all um, use the token. And let us say I would like um, to go to a different area, user management. And I'd like to show you how to get information about the user, for example. So we would like to say um, get user account details. So. That's me, the user, and we're going to just try this one. We should get a return or a code back as 200. 200 means everything works. And we should see the detail of this guy. This is the detail of that account. And the code or the response code is 200 means it's okay. And that's the header. So that's just to see the list or the um, user account. I'm going to close here. We can say, show me the list of users accounts. And I can say, okay, try. That will give me the list of the user accounts that access this specific one. So we have a bunch of those and the return is 200. So they, we have read only user. That's one user here, account. And we have my account. So these read only and this account has access um to this as well as central one three so three accounts now has access to this specific tenant or account so that's another use case for uh, rest api if i need to get a list of access points say for example so i can go uh, monitor that's part of an access point um, so we go monitoring here just to make sure and if i would like to get a list of ap's so here monitor and these are the possible actions that you can take under monitoring category one of which would be the ap show me the list of ap's so we click underneath the ap show me the list of the ap's and we're going to try that that should return three and all of them so they will give us the, the firmware version, uh, any information, MAC address, um, and so on. So here um, we have, we can export this one, obviously. So we have one, this serial number. We have this serial number. And we have this serial number. We know we have three access points in this case. Now I would like to show you how to create a label, for example. Let's close this one first. So click here, and we're gonna create a label. Or let's just say, um, we don't have labels, um, but I would like to create a label. 
and here what you do simply um, you just click on this and that will be here now I would like to give it a different name of course so we're gonna say API location one that's a label name I'm gonna try so label was created we can go back and check so if we go back into the network structure and we go to the labels we'll notice that a new label has been created so that has created a new label we can delete this label even using a uh, rest api we will do that in a sec we create another label to just um, verify again another label say level two location two another one has been created as you can see and we can check again and just refresh this page two labels have been created If we check an other trail here, we will see that these labels have been created. See, and that's the username, which is me, basically, that's logged into to the system. And um, two labels have been um, indeed created. Thank you for watching this short video with the REST API. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.